So during this section, we're now going to start talking to you about short game. Now, if you followed our program and system so far, you should have found that you're now hitting the golf ball not only straighter, but further and more consistently than ever before. Trusting that you followed the system correctly, you should now find that you've got a good basic understanding of how to grip the golf club, the position of your feet, the position of your golf ball within your feet with different clubs, and then the position of a good posture, so you're standing to the golf ball and you're happy and comfortable with your setup. You should then understand that you've got a nice smooth backswing to the top, you're bringing the club down on the correct path, and you're getting a better impact and more consistent strike on the golf ball than you've ever had. Now using those fundamental positions, we're now going to start to develop this into the short game. Now the importance of the short game cannot be overstated. Whenever you're out on the golf course, your score will always be held together by what you do within the last, let's say, 100 yards of the green. That's really why we call this the scoring zone. So what I'd like you to do to start to realise how important your short game is, is take your sand wedge to the driving range. Make a full swing with that sand wedge and measure the distance that it goes. Now any distance that is beyond that sand wedge is classed as the long game. So to hit the golf ball further than that sand wedge, you don't change your technique, you just change your club. So let's say a full swing with a sand wedge goes 80 yards. To go 100 yards, you take a different club, you make the same swing. To go 150 yards, take a different club, a little change to the setup like we've talked about in the first part, make the same swing right the way through to the tee shots, always making the same swing. But from that distance, that 80 yard sand wedge and back in, you now have to start doing something different. You don't have a golf club that will only go 15 yards. So you're going to have to develop the techniques that can do that for you. The finesse shots, the touch shots, the feel shots. So during this section, we're going to break it down into four basic components. Chipping, pitching, putting and bunker play. And hopefully if you can improve on those areas, you'll start to notice your scores dropping very quickly.